You know what I haven't been hearing a lot lately, Coach? Roll Tide. Stephen A's been awfully <laughs> quiet. Yeah, Stephen A, it's really strange. Yeah, you, you, know, you know, Coach, you know, you know, tell the truth, Coach. Mar Marcus Spears and Ryan Clark and, and Boogie McFarlane, they put you up to showing up on this show today, didn't they? <laughs> tell the truth, Coach. Tell the truth. No. Hey, those are my boys. We stick together. <laughs> no question. <laughs> Congratulations, Coach. Go ahead. Thank, thank you. Thank you. But, Coach, you get the job done, and you go into Tuscaloosa, and not just to Stephen A., but what do you want to say to all the haters that were on the Alabama train? <clears throat> well, you know, first of all, college football is great, especially in the South here. Everybody loves their football team. I understand their fans, how much they love their football team. We have a great fan base here. It was just time for us to win. We had the better football team. We had to go get it done, and we did. Coach, um, it, you did get it done. You had a huge halftime lead. And I thought you would win this game. I picked you guys to win. But I did get nervous as Alabama was yeah. coming back at home. Joe Burrow, a few throws there in the third quarter. I'm like, uh-oh, is he feeling the pressure? What about this team? was able to weather that feeling like, oh, this yeah. is Alabama destiny at home here. They win these kind of games. What was it about the character of your team yeah. specifically that was able to overcome that? You mentioned it. It's about character. It's about grit. It's about leadership. It's about the will to win. We only played 30 minutes of our best ball. Our last half was not our best football. We're looking forward to playing 60 minutes of LSU standard of performance. Coach, when I look at you guys, first of all, uh, obviously you won a Fiesta Bowl last year. I think it was over Central Florida, if I remember correctly. You're undefeated this year. You guys, you guys look absolutely sensational. With Burrow, with Clyde edwards alaire I mean, he was something special this past Saturday. But when you look at your squad, what is it that's so different about the squad this year compared to what they were last year yeah. when you guys had actually lost 29 to nothing to Alabama? Yeah. What was the difference this year? Two things. Uh, the line of scrimmages are better, offensive line and defensive line. They're physical. They're very uh, well coached by our coaches. And number two is our spread offense, uh, led by Joe Brady and Steve Ensminger. And, you know, obviously the improvement that Joe Burrow has made, uh, we're putting our athletes in space, in space and letting them make plays. Is that mm. something like usually you see a guy with a defensive background as a head coach? That's always my favorite kind of head coach. I'm a Giants mm. fan, Bill Parcells back in the and and sometimes he needs that kind of offensive guru underneath him on the offensive side of the ball to take the team to the next level. You obviously aren't shy about giving Joe Brady credit. No. When, what was the idea when he was brought on? You know, uh, when he came to us as a consultant, he was very bright. He came highly recommended from the Saints and people I had coached with before. We wanted to go through the spread. We felt like he was an expert in running the spread. I have to give Steve Enzbinger uh, a, lot of, a lot of credit for allowing him to come in, listening to him. They called the plays together. It's been a tremendous mix, exactly what we wanted at LSU. Coach, I want to ask you a question that I asked Paul Feinbaum. He was on the other day, and we were talking about the rankings, the potential 1-2 matchup of LSU-Ohio State, if it was to happen that way. Here's what he had to say. I'm going to surprise some people right now by saying, I think Ohio State might beat uh, LSU. Now, again, it'll be a neutral site game. But to me, if you look at LSU, as great as that win was the other day, mm -hmm. they've got a couple of narrow wins. Ohio State has just shredded teams they have eviscerated teams. Right now, uh, I, I, I would favor Ohio Alabama, State in that game. Alabama hung 41 on them. <clears throat> Coach, your thoughts on that prediction? <laughs> you know, we, we're focused on beating Ole Miss. Uh, this is going to be a great game on Saturday night. Uh, I'm not thinking of that far ahead. I don't know what's going to happen. I do know this. We need to make improvement in some areas to get to where we want to go. Coach, I got to ask this question because – I remember several years ago, LSU had beaten Alabama in a regular season game. If I remember correctly, I think it was like by a score of 9-6. to six. And everybody yeah, right. thought that was it, and they wouldn't have to face Alabama again. And then you had to face Alabama for the national championship, and they had their way with the LSU Tigers. Obviously, you're the coach there now. I'm wondering, are you of the belief that because you handled your business against Alabama that you shouldn't have to see them again? Or do are you somebody mm -hmm. that would say, hey, if that's the way it goes down, so be it. We wouldn't mind facing them again. We don't care who we face. 
you know, obviously we have to win the rest of our games. Uh, we have the SEC championship. Those are the things that we're thinking about now. Whoever they tell us to play, when we do get there, if we get there, we're going to play them. And if it's Alabama, it's Alabama. I mean, that's, that's out of our control. Uh, I do, need, do believe the best teams need to be in the college football playoffs, but that's control, completely out of my control. We can control beating Ole Miss this week, and that's what I'm thinking about. Coach, you've used some colorful language reportedly in the locker room uh, about, about the Tide uh, and then beat them. It's one thing to give them another bite at the apple. It's another thing when the head coach is giving them, you know, bulletin board material before another bite at the apple. Do you have any thoughts about what you said? Would you do it again? Or how, do you feel about, how do you feel about that now if you have to play Alabama again? You know, our locker room is a special place. That's for our family. There are some emotional speeches that go on in every locker room across the country. I think those things ought to be uh, kept in the locker room. The only thing I'm sorry for is that it got out the way it did. We had a player that put it out. He apologized to me, and that's it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.